Hi everybody. Maybe you're having the same problem that I'm having finding videos on the setup of the Tensa 4. And uh, there are some basic things that are out there that people have put together where you connect the poles together. How do you hook up the, uh, the ridge line that comes with it? One of the things that would be a suggestion from me would be uh, maybe give a little bit more explanation on which line goes to what and what the setup of that is. Uh, obviously, you can see that I've got the black and orange one set up as the ridge line for my Tensor 4. There's an orange one that sits at, at the ground, and it's the one that decides the distance from point to point where you can raise and lower that. Uh, and then uh, there's two that are alike uh, that have some uh, extra loops that are sewn into them, as you can see here. And uh, I figured out uh, that if I just loop one of them closest to the buckle over top of this pole, uh, and I try to do that with the one that's underneath that uh, I can hook my carabiner to one of the loops for my hammock. And then obviously you can cinch down after you've put your orange screw in the ground there. But what, one of the other things that I've noticed is this, that there wasn't much explanation for the pole mod for the, uh, the tarp. And uh, I just thought I'd show you what my setup is and maybe it'll help you. I don't really know if this is the intent that Tensa has for this, uh, but I've just figured out this is what makes it work for me. So in the, in the line that connects the poles for your Tensa 4, where the, uh, the little uh, point goes through those holes and then connects up here over the ball, I just put my pole inside of that where it had something to push against it's the same line that the ridge line is connected to and then at the bottom of that pole let me show you this you can see you can see that the the gear that comes with the pole mod uh, this is not connected this pole actually sits in a in a grommet down here and then there's an adjustable uh, line right here uh, you, I connected these, they snap together over here. And then uh, the idea behind this, if I'm understanding this right, is that I can raise and lower by pulling tension out of this orange cord. I can raise this pole up so that my tarp hangs higher. And then if I want it to lower, I obviously you can lower it down. These will slide up and down the pole. And then the purpose for these two, um, these two here is that once you've got your tarp hanging, you want to be able to pull the tension out so that it will tighten and, and lengthen that out so you don't have a great big sag in the middle of it. So once you've got it set up like this, where the orange cord is hooked through the same loop here as your, your uh, uh, ridge line, that's what holds it in place raise it, lower it, hook these two up here, and then uh, leave them a little bit loose at first. Your pole might be straight up and down. Get your tarp hooked up on top of that, that tall uh, post there. And then when you're ready to, to give it that tension, grab a hold of both of these and begin to pull them. And that will give something to pull against. It will pull that pole farther away, which pulls that tarp straight out. And uh, I found last night that that worked really good for me. And uh, there's, again, there's not a lot of uh, videos as far as good explanation that I found anyway. Maybe if you've got something, you could send me a link uh, uh, down below. But uh, uh, I just thought maybe I'd make this video for you. Somebody else might be having the same struggle that I did. And uh, maybe this will help you with that. Uh, Tinsa made a great unit and I'm thankful for it. I'm glad that it works as well as it does. It's stable. It's strong. I have no complaints with the exception of uh, the detail that you really need to know the first couple of times that you set it up so that the next time uh, you can walk in, set this thing up real fast, and you're ready to go enjoy the day. Thank you, everybody.